I wrote some notes down um, that I wanted to share with everybody, but I figured I mean, how many notes I wrote down, it's better just come from the heart and the Bible. Um, recently, my grandmother passed away and uh, dealing with life and death is always hard for everybody. It's not easy. I don't care if you're prepared for it or not prepared for it. Um, I think the one thing that makes it easy is a relationship with God. But not everyone has that. Not everyone goes through life having a sense of who they are or where they may go or where they may not go. So it becomes difficult. If anyone knows Rose, my grandmother, um, I don't think I was going to cry. She was a wonderful woman. She was, I mean, so much joy and love and compassion. Her name was suiting for who she was, Rose. You ever think about when you ever received a rose in your life, how it made you feel special? Or if you ever given a rose, how, how it made you feel to give that to somebody? Or how the person was excited, joyed up? I mean, she was that. She lived a long and great life. I mean, seeing so many things from being born during the depression to going through the whole you know, 50s and 60s and how the world changed to the craziness of the 70s. Raising a family, so many children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren. I think they said five generations. It's like, that's amazing. And her heart and compassion and her love, I mean, it was just, I've never known her not to be, but a loving person. Um, I was reading the Bible this morning, and when I did it, I came upon, you know, Proverbs 22, verse 6, and it was highlighted, and it says, teach your children to choose the right path, and when they're older, they will remain upon it. You may have heard it a different way, when they're older, they will not depart from it. Um, and because she was a grandmother and a mother and a sister and she was just there for so many people, that verse stands out to me in a different way now, thinking about her. Thinking about how she was able to teach her children love and compassion, values. I think we all strive to do that.
we all strive to live a great life where we leave those foundations for our kids and the people we come in contact with. We all strive to be that person that one day we could be looked upon and say, wow, what a great life they lived. My sadness isn't sadness, it's really joy. I'm sad because obviously my grandma's not around, but she lived such a great life and put so much into everybody that she came across. So you think about the people that she would have touched myself. I mean, one thing that she told me was, uh, it was so funny. <laughs> I don't even know what we're talking about. It had to be the world or something. And uh, she's like, honey, different strokes for different folks. <laughs> I'm like, that's a tidbit of knowledge right there for you. <laughs> when we start judging someone for something that they're doing or, or the way they are, or <laughs> the world of the way it is, it's just, just they, we all come together. I'm like, that is so true. Like I said, her name was fitting, Rose. Her life was great. She loved memories everywhere that she went and everyone that she came in contact with. I strive to be able to leave a legacy like that for my kids and my family and my friends that I could be looked upon the same way that she was looked upon. I'm a wonderful person filled with joy and laughter and love the dancing spirit. <laughs> to my grandmother Rose, I love you. I will miss you. But I know your legacy will live on well past me, onto my kids and onto my cousins and their kids and friends that know you. I'm happy that you're in heaven. I'm happy that you're with your husband. I'm happy that you're with your kids and your parents. I'm happy that you're with the Lord and you can rejoice and you're pain free. Till we meet again. I love you.